Hello, my name is Abe and welcome to Tiny Rogues Between Heaven and Hell, I guess is the pre is the current update to the game. Currently in early access on Steam, I believe for 10 bucks. I have not played this game yet, but I figured let's check it out. I don't often want to do like let's look at of early access games, but this is one that literally everyone's been talking about. So I want to at least have a little bit of knowledge of what this game's all about, so I have a little bit of input into the conversation, let's say. We're gonna start a new game here. And because it's an early access, oh, so hungry, feed me. It's the killing of the first flame. The Firelink Shrine, whatever you wanna call it. Because this is an early access, I might not play a lot of it, but maybe we'll play a run or two. And potential, so much potential. We'll learn to love the game. Currently the CRT effects are on the uh, screen warping, I'll turn it off in a second. I want to see how it feels with it on, because this is the default game. The hero, a hot-blooded young... He okay, it's actually kind of annoying now that I look at it. <laughs> hold on, so hold on. Go me back, send me back to the title screen. I already hate that, so we'll go uh, scan lines off, CRT off. All right, go back. There we go, now I can actually read. A hot-blooded young hero on a quest to vanquish humanity's biggest adversary. Can they defeat death? Lucky star, you gain luck depending on how good your alignment is. So we want to keep our alignment up. It's currently plus one. We have two HP, zero shield, I assume. No action points, no magic points. No, or sorry, two magic points, two speed points, zero luck, zero curse. 5% crit for 200% damage. I don't know if it's 200% or 200% plus. Seven speed, two in, two dex to strength, hero's cape, zero wins. Oh my god, there's a lot of meta upgrade progression systems here. After each run, you gain mastery experience depending on, depending on how many bosses you've defeated. Per level, you can allocate one perk. These perks are not required to succeed, but they surely help. Activate cinder modifiers. Okay, I have no idea. Goes back to the previous screen. Class unlocked, hero, bandit, bard, cleric, deprived, doppelganger, gunslinger, soldier, ranger, pyromancer, mystic, knight, hero, sorcerer, thief, wanderer, warrior, wizard. So lots of different classes to play as. World tier zero, brave the unknown. The bonfire beckons you on a journey to vanquish the darkness that plagues this world. Objective, begin your journey. Result, a new set of enemies may appear in each new floor. Our current quest is the easy mode quest. Starting gift. Additional health, ring, start with bomb, start with gold, start with keys. Health seems like a good one to have. And Cinder, our bonfire. Maybe this is like a New Game Plus mode. Let's begin. Your cape, do you mean live Anos' disposable account? If only. It's an old man, kill him, kill him! Welcome, young traveler. I'm here to help you on get going on your journey. Space or E to continue. Move with WASD. Dash with space. You're invincible. Dashing costs one stamina. In the left, you can see the stamina. It's also underneath your character. You can use bombs with Q. Here are some for later. Attack with left. We're shooting punches. You're natural. Let's meet in the next room. This is the tutorial. Can I hit tutorial, man? No, I can't. Um... Holy crap, the camera is atrocious. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can edit the camera system because holy crap, it is terrible. Camera aim strength, maybe 0%. Oh my God, way better. Oh, thank Christ. The problem with the camera is that if you were aim to the right and then you move the, the mouse one pixel so you're aiming to the left, the camera just shoot, shifts halfway across the screen. It's terrible. So I'll, I'm gonna keep the aim strength at zero. We won't be able to see further, but uh, it's gonna make it way easier to look at and see. To defeat stronger foes, you will have to arm yourself, pick up items with E, open your inventory with F. Drag and drop, right click to equip. Pick up items with E, drag and drop in the inventory with F, gotcha. Wooden sword, damage dealing D. Damage scaling, D. Attacks per second, 2.5. Weapon range short. Bow, weapon range far. 
wand, weapon, range, medium. We get to pick all three. We can switch between them. Um, open the character panel to see. Hold on, F. What happened to my wand? Oh, there it is. What? Time for a real battle. We should meet again in the next room. No, I, I'm reading inventory. What is this? This is my Estus flask? It's my dice bag. Reroll offered items from shops, armories, and uh, other places. Okay. Crude bow. And apprentice wand. Why why does one just swap between these two things? How do I use my my wand? There must be a, a button for using your magical spell or something. So one just swaps between the current two weapons I have equipped. Um, C is my character sheet. Equip load 20 out of 60, not encumbered. Dash is spacebar. We have one flask. It takes 1.5 seconds to use the flask. It recovers one HP. I don't know how to do that. Right click, right click! It takes a second to swap weapons. You can't just do it immediately, but right click is uh, our magical spell. And now for the second question is, can I do this? Yes, right click just goes to whatever's in your backpack and one is on their, your hot bar. Gotcha, understand. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the bow on our hot bar. That way, if, not one. What? One. What do I... Okay, hold on. Currently I have selected... <laughs> the sword. One selects this, right click selects this, one then goes back to the sword. This is an exceptionally complicated system, I think. Uh, let's just keep the the magic there, okay? We'll keep the magic there. We've got... We got the bow. This is fine. Go, go to the next room. It's a slime. It's a bullet hell slime. Well done, bear with me for a moment. It's food. On your journey, we'll find food. Pairs increase your dexterity, meat increases strength, candy increases intelligence, space, food will grant experience, you need experience to level up and earn new traits. Increase the damage of your weapons. You can check the scaling of your weapons by investigating the letters and the colors of the description. Better scaling is more damage. Attributes also grant other stats. That's all I can teach you. The rest you'll figure out on your own. If you run into trouble, V is your heal. Can we only take one? No, you get all of them. Excellent. You won't ever go through three weapons. It's just, it's it's a confusing system because right click swaps to whatever is in your backpack and then one swaps but from your hot bar to whatever's in your active held slot. So you, you were fiddling with multiple different weapons. It's just a little confusing. It would be nice if there was like a second UI on the screen that showed you this, but um, maybe I'll get used to it. Okay, probably, what the hell was that? We are invincible, we can go through the party favors or we can just, you know, not worry about the party favors at all. Drops loot when shattered, treasure rock or candy for plus one intelligence. Uh, Oh, that's what one intelligence gives us. But, no, it doesn't give us any more weapon damage. It gives us increased mana regeneration, critical hit chance, one experience. I don't know, give me the loot rock? We, we, we know what food does. I do not know what loot rocks do. So let's see what the loot rock does. Um, you probably have to bash it. Nope. Options, keyboard, attack weapon, bomb is bomb, probably bomb. Okay, show detail, shift, consume all buffs, B, oh my god, there's so many different things. Cancel is X, dice bag is G. All right, Q, now do you throw it or drop it? You drop it. Didn't hurt me, but it did give us two keys, okay. Gold or flask, give me gold. You don't have to click to fire, I'm realizing. You can just hold down the fire button. 
I don't know why you would ever play like a melee character in this game when you can just, you know, stay at range and shoot them. Key or pair? We have a bow and I'm using the bow, so why don't we take a pair? I'm also noticing that red circle on the ground is indicating where the enemy is going to jump to. Let's see what the tavern is. It's Christmas themed, I get it. Gita Interact, welcome, can I help you to a drink? Beer is a stackable booze buff that grants 10% increased damage and adds one tipsiness. You have one tipsiness per booze effect up to three defined by your max heart. Every 10 rooms lose a booze effect. Stackable booze buff. <laughs> one tipsiness per booze effect. Okay, so hold on. If we go to wine, 20% increased damage over time. What? Adds one tipsiness per stack. Tequila grants plus 25% crit hit multiplier and adds one tipsiness per stack. Look, I have no idea. Hopefully the entire screen isn't going to like warp around. But let's get some, get some beer. F. E. Keep in mind there's plenty more where that came from. So I have one tipsiness and maybe more damage? I don't know. Hello. Would you like to stay for the night? Will reroll tavern visitors? No. The crowd in the tavern might be completely different tomorrow. I probably shouldn't do this. You wanna buy a bomb? No. Okay. It's really fun to blow stuff up if you think about it. So this, what, what are you gonna give me? I'm a knight of the Order of the Silver Flying Dragon. Show me your weapon traveler. Yikes, not the best weapon. You should really try to find something better. I doubt you'll be making it very far. What if I show you my sword? Not the best weapon, all right, well. You're probably right about that. Now what are you gonna give me? What is, what is, uh, Tetromino? Come closer and listen, I have a massive deal. You wanna buy some illegal gun parts? It's the merchant from Terraria. <laughs> Upgrades a gun or cannon, man, I really wish I, uh, had money. Mind keeping the talk between us? Grant random dice, grant a key. I haven't spent a key, let's get dice. Why, why do they have a... So that's where he's gonna land. Why do they have a tavern in the middle of a, like, monster infested hellhole dungeon, you know? Golden obsidian red dice. Rerolls upcoming rewards for the next room. Allows rerolling offered traits. Rerolls offered items from shops, armories, and bosses allows you to exchange a trait with a random new trait. Okay, so we can change the rooms if we want, or... No, F, so many menus. Reward choices at include at least one charm, or offhand. Let's go for the charm, I don't wanna have to fiddle with more inventory. Nothing can stop me, except for probably the wall, if I had to guess. Yeah, it turns out the wall can can definitely stop you. Why does it say uh, X2? Stand still, you may- oh, because he has two health bars. I mean, if you just, if you just do the same thing over and over again, I, I think you'll probably not be happy with the results, my Minotaur friend. I've been fighting min Minotaurs for ages, okay? I've played Hades. It got real loud when he died. But we picked up a boss kill. We can get 10% increased damage dealt to bosses. Attunement, I don't know what attunement is. Cut. Plus one dash one fl flask? Do we get another healing flask? Um, grants three intelligence. You have three intelligence. Increases damage dealt by weapons that scale with intelligence. Grants crit chance. Mana regen. Exact bonuses can be looked at in the character menu. Honestly, give me damage to bosses. Could have rerolled him, but you know, whatever. Pixely welcome. Poggers, he's tiny roguing. Good evening. Yeah, so far. 
Knight of the Order of Dissing Your Weapon. Yeah, F those guys, right? The Boneyard's ready. So we want stats, we don't care about bombs. I'm not using bombs. There might be like secret walls that we could bomb open. We'll learn those at some point, I assume. I mean, for, for anyone who's like played a game like Gungeon, this is pretty much just like Gungeon, but less visual noise, right? You can see more on the screen. Choose a trait. And we can reroll these if you want. Increase your luck for a chance to get four choices. I understand. On draining an accumulated amount of one mana, trigger a volley of magical bolts that deal 291 to 466 thrusting ranged damage. What? <laughs> Strength also counts towards dexterity damage scaling from ranged weapons. That seems good, we can just go for a bow build. On dash, repeat your next attack. How much damage are we currently doing with our weapon? Like, how much is 270-something-odd damage, right? Weapon base damage. Base thrusting for 100 to 200. Weapon total damage, 130 to 261. Is that our current bow weapon? I don't know. Damage modifiers. There's a lot of different types of damage. Holy crap. Necrotic, sound, nature, dark, radiant, poison, lightning, cold, fire, thrusting, slashing, striking! Invincibility after dash 0 0.1 seconds, maximum of one. After taking damage, you're invincible for two seconds. Movement speed, movement is 7.17 tiles per second. Movement speed is 7.18. <laughs> we have one companion capacity. Highest rarity weapon used, common weapon, weapon rarity 15. Okay, and then if we look at our inventory, the bow, does 130 to 261. And the wand, after five attacks, it will drain one mana, which will trigger 400 range damage. That seems really good if we use mana, but I, I've been using the bow for everything up to this point. So I think I'm just gonna take heavy draw because we get better scaling with the bow. It'll, it'll, our strength will count for dexterity scaling, if I'm reading it correctly. Uncommon weapons or gold? Give me the weapons. Oh, we just get to pick. And there's cages, interesting. Stormworm, welcome! Thank you for the continued resub eat. Enemies die a bit too fast. I mean, this is the easiest difficulty because I've never played this game before. <laughs> when, we, when we win this run, it'll get harder. Better bow. Weapon range very far. Weapon range far. So it does... It has a higher range, but it has more top-end damage, and it's a thrusting damage type. The Octoshot bow is... just worse, I think, in every variety. This one is changing colors. And then the prop knife is just a melee weapon. So I think we just want the bow. Oh, I see. I thought it was going to like hit me. And then we will equip that bow. Seems very good. I can also just hold down the fire button, which we could before now that I think about it. Block chest contains a magic weapon. Honestly, I, I just got a weapon. So I'm going for, uh, what was this, food? You need food to level up, so that was just a bad dodge. Oh, it homes! Oh my god, this is a great bow. Well, no, it's a normal bow, but it's great for me. Grants four to five bombs or buy items. I have five gold. Let's go for the free bombs. Wraith says, first run took me two tries. Now I'm just getting stomped. Hopefully I don't just get stomped. Melee weapon or more experience. I will take more experience, please. These guys just attack in a circle, which is real, you know, nice. Event or locked chest? Give me uh, an event. Um, inflict one heart to yourself. Yes. We got one intelligence. I'm not gonna do it again, because that would 
put me a little low, but we can heal. Let me, um, what is it, V? You've gotta hold the button down, I understand. Now, does that recharge? I don't know. We'll take strength, it'll buff our bow. I assume it'll recharge like at the end of a floor? Or maybe if we get an event that does it, or like an item that does it, maybe there's like consumables that do it, I don't know. Figure it out. Pair for more decks. We have to blow this door open to get to this passage. I understand. We have seven bombs, we could do that. It's not like an easy room or anything. I mean, it is an easy room, but I don't know if it's gonna be easier, or if it's a free item, or a, a good path. But we level up again. Stormworm says, this is a great game. I've been waiting for this update for a long time. So tell me, what did the most recent update for this game add? Because I've never played this game before, I don't know. This is, this is my, my normal. Slashing damage from you and your companions inflicts rupture. Periodically mark lowest health enemy with rogue's mark. Grants more crits lasts eight seconds. Grant 100% increased stats from strength but gain no stats from dex or intelligence. On taking damage or on defy death, gain adrenaline. 100% increased damage and lasts one room. This seems like a reroll. So F, G, re, exchange a trait with, no. Oh, I don't have trait reroll dice. But maybe we can obsidian, maybe I gotta take one and then obsidian it? Hmm. Hmm. I guess rogue's reliability, we should, hold on, F, take this. And then if we dice it, we can re-roll it. Goodbye, rogue's reliability, welcome cast on crit. There it is. Critical hits with melee and range attacks trigger the attack of a non-channeling magic weapon in your first inventory slot. Yo! That's great, we can do a crit build. So what we wanna do, is put our magic missile here on one. Honestly, like, just dunk this. Can I just throw these? Oh, I can. Well, maybe we can sell them. Keep that on one. Uh, it will, uh, F. When we crit, we'll automatically cast that. Beautiful. Cursed. Guaranteed boots. Reward choices include at least one pair of boots. Guaranteed accessory. Well, it's not cursed, so let's go for this one. Oh, it's the boss fight. I'm so cold and lonely, embrace me. No, I, uh, this isn't Sekiro and you are not the Shrine Maiden. Now, I don't know if casting is done from our location or from the point of impact. Don't be afraid of death's touch. Death is so kind to us. I do like the music. I love the fact that we've got such dang good range. I hate the, these bullets being on the screen though. It's very loud when you finish a boss fight, <laughs> just saying. Your thrusting damage inflicts bleed. Physical damage over time ailment that deals 50% of physical infliction damage as wound damage two times per second lasts four seconds. Our weapon is thrusting. You can turn that down. I, what, how? TV noise volume? <laughs> I have the master volume down. Maybe I gotta turn it up and then turn it down in Windows. Sometimes games don't uh, correctly do all of the like, audio tied to the sliders thing. Grant 0.25 seconds of invincibility after a dash. That seems real good. Grant plus 20% chance for bow and crossbow attacks to repeat. This is 
an offhand item that gives us a quick load. Repeated attacks deal 25% less damage. So this is a effectively a 5% damage buff, okay? That's not that much. This gives us I, I I'm not entirely certain how the bleed damage is calculated. 50% of physical infliction damage as wound damage two times per second. So does this mean that every hit does five times damage? I don't know, but we have a thrusting weapon in our weapon. So why don't we take this and see how it works? It could be great. Wait, why is it in my inventory? Hold on. F. Common accessory, attunement. What is attunement? I don't know. What is attunement? Right click to equip. Yes. Oh! I don't know what attunement is, but we can equip it. We don't need the HP. We can just equip that if we need it, like if we're about to die or something. Okay, if we get hit, press two. That's what we should do. The jungle. Grant two bombs or blood altar. Grant rewards at the cost of health. I think we should just go for the bombs, honestly. Oh god, we're playing Terraria. Oh my god, it is... It is actually like five times damage. It's absurd. The bleed damage bonus is stupid good. Uh, we're going for the stats. And I'm realizing we gotta kill the worms early. Is that carrots? This isn't Atomicrops. Get out of here, game. Attunement means how many floors you have to clear with it equipped before its effect activates. What? Ah, because I, I tried to swap and it didn't give me the ring. The attunement is zero. But this was a two minute one on pickup because it was probably a new item. It prevents you from swapping your equipment willy nilly. Okay, I understand, I understand. Flask or a ranged weapon? Dude, flask. Little bullet heli. We'll get a new ranged weapon later. We don't need it right now because the current weapon is actually like pretty damn good. What is, what is alive? I don't know. So we'll get the flask refill and pawn shop sell weapons and equipment. Let's try this. Hello. Welcome to Lucian's pawn shop. Got any equipment or weapons you want to sell? Drop any items you'd like me to take a look at on the carpet. Okay. I'm going to sell you, I keep thinking tab is the menu, it's F. Sell this. Ugh, a crude bow, how about three? Yes. Um, and then F. Take the sword, Ugh, a wooden sword, not the best. How about three? Yes, splendid. And then take the amethyst ring. Ugh, not the best, how about four? Sure. All right, sounds good to me. 10% increased damage depending on how good your alignment is, 10% currently. Okay. Random dice or locked chest? I have two keys, let's spend the keys. Is he gonna complain about every item you sell? Asks the Nor. I hope not. Oh, it's a mimic. He died. He hit the wall and died? I don't know what happened. Big brain helmet. Attunement. Grants plus 20 intelligence? What? Phylactery talisman. Plus one out of one revive. Happy executioner sword. Deals 200 to 400 damage is pretty good. Interesting. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up the big brain health. We're gonna pick it all up. Okay, that's good loot. Upgrade weapons and repair armor grants a key. I mean, we gotta check this out. Um. So weapons don't have attunement. The helmet is not active because it's not attuned. Our 
Intelligence is currently six, which gives us a 6% chance of increased critical hits, but that's gonna buff it substantially. Okay. Happy, plus 10% lucky hit chance. All slashing damage is physical damage, okay. Bleed, right, physical damage, ailment. Lucky increases lucky hit chance, lucky hits roll two times for crit hits, and define a chance to trigger certain effects, current lucky hit chance is 10%. Okay, and then if I swap weapons, okay. So melee weapons in this game, they're not really melee. They're ranged. Everything in this game is a ranged weapon, kind of. But our bow is still, I think, better because it attacks twice as quickly. And it scales E with uh, strength, which is not good, but it's something at least. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's upgrade. Need anything forged? Need anything forged? If you're in a pity, you can use a blacksmith's whetstone to upgrade your weapon. Tink, tink, tink. Uh, I didn't see what it said there. Armor repaired. There's repair damage? Or is this attuned? It's not attuned, I don't think. What's my, what's my, I s currently have six intelligence. There's what? There's attunement? There's damage? What? what? Okay. Blacktree Talisman. Cover two hearts. Refreshes each floor. Attunement is zero. So, I, so attunement is we have to complete the entire floor before the items take effect. That seems a little excessive, you know? Let me just equip it. There's a legend about a skill for... Skill for... Drargar, blacksmith who resides in the deep dark, is told that he knows ways to upgrade weapons beyond usual limits. Might just be a legend. Okay, we don't care about magic weapons. Let's go for the lock chest. Last time we were here, it was a freaking mimic. The problem is that if I get hit, I die instantly. So I gotta really, you know, make sure I don't die. And then don't press C, you press a V to drink up. Two health is a little, a little excessive. Um, grants three random rewards. You get a lot of equipment. Upgrades any weapon by one level. Non-melee weapons up to level three. Melee weapons up to level four. Slither wand. Wow. Inflicts both poison and bleed slither wand. Repairs all armor points. Repair powder. We got a lot of garbage. So we picked up like four bombs from the present. I don't know why that happened. I thought it would give me different items. Uh. We're going to, I mean, let's just upgrade the bow, why not? There you go, now it's level two. Uh, This is a much better wand, so this should be on my one slot, so it'll get auto cast. And if we want, we can take a look at it. Nope, there you go. It's gonna be easier to see, what the hell is this? It just got me my mana back? I have no idea. Tumen is number of rooms, not floors. I mean, it's not attuned yet. Oh, it is attuned. This one got attuned, but this one didn't. I don't know why. I have no idea. Why Why is the helmet attuned, but the phylactery not attuned? I've done eight rooms. Okay, that's garbage, that's garbage. Because I don't, I don't know how to look at weapon durability or anything like that. Um, but, We'll automatically fire that spell when we crit, and currently we have a 26% bonus crit chance, so I'm happy about that. These dang old carrots, they don't always shoot exactly where you're gonna be. Guaranteed charm, reward choice includes at least one charm or one helmet. We have a helmet, let's go for a charm. Although wait, charm is... We can hold four. You disrupt nature's peace, I will stop you. I'm just like in a dungeon. I'm not doing anything. All right, so he's dead. That was fast. Who cares about nature's peace? You made me angry, now this is personal. All right, well, good luck. Mm -hmm. 
would be nice if I had, like, dodging room, but I guess we don't need it. What are souls? It's not attuned because the bow is two-handed. It's if you don't have it equipped. What? Oh! So if I do a right click, it's a two-handed sword. We don't have this equipped in the offhand, so we're not actually getting it charged. We have to have a one-handed weapon. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Grants one heart when recovered with revived. Okay, it's, we're never going to use it at this point. Emblem of balance, epic accessory. Luck and curse are equal to the greater of the two values. Both. Curse increases. Cursed hit chance. Cursed hits have a chance. Have to succeed two rolls to deal crits. Okay. So this would just give us curse. Grants 25% increased mana regeneration. Two set. There's set bonuses? What is this, Diablo 2? Grants magic find. I don't really care about a hat because this one's granting me 20% crit chance, which auto casts my weapon. So uh, I think we'll just pick up the charm and just put it in the backpack. But epic, epic things would probably be uh, sold for more value, right? Yeah, the sets are green. It checks out. I'll pick the pick up the hat. We can sell it later. Because I don't I don't really care about magic find when I have 20% crit chance. Some NPCs use souls. Mm. Oh, I'm just noticing too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not horizontally. So we want it like this. Gets it out of the out of the way. Okay. Locked chest that contains equipment, obsidian chest, or plus one intelligence, which grants us critical hit chance, which is pretty darn good. I'm loving this like damage over time build thing that we've got here. Because every hit does like five times damage actually. That bleed scales exceptionally. Cursed broccoli. If it just means you have to roll twice to crit, that sucks, but we have a lucky crit, right? Hold on. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sure? I don't know. Maybe we can figure out how to uncurse ourselves later, maybe? I know we've got like a curse build, sorry, a crit build going here, but I wanna, I wanna play around with this. Oh God. Curse can have a variety of negative effects, basically the opposite of luck. More curse, more cursed your existence will feel. Grants cursed hit chance, roll twice for crits. You have to succeed the roll twice to crit. You know what? If we get 100% crit chance, that doesn't matter. Boom. Spawn invading reapers, increase shot prices and more. Well, maybe we can reduce the crit later. Rare weapons. Give me a rare weapon. It's a cursed weapon. Hey, Pixely. Thank you for the resub. Yay, Atlas again. And she tomb. Tome. Primary attack deals a thousand damage. Scales with everything. Crappy Banshee Tome. Tome. I don't know why I keep saying that. I thought this was going to be a cursed weapon. Grants a stack of Tailwind. Stackable buff that grants 5% increased attack, movement, orbital speed per stack. Stacks last 8 seconds, decaying at the same time up to 4 stacks. This is a pretty decent weapon. Potent rapid fire bow. 5 attacks per second doing 100 to 250 thrusting damage, or three attacks at two to 500. Better damage scaling, better damage. And it gives us speed bonuses that will give us more damage, I think. So, I mean, this is just better than our current weapon. The minimum damage is more than double. So I'm thinking we'll go for this one. that bad boy 
It might not have homing on it though, but... Because this doesn't say it has homing. Maybe homing is just something that's automatically applied to ranged weapons or something. I don't know. Let's take more candy. Oh, cost a key? Sure, why not? Methinks that's a Reaper. Hard to tell if we're actually uh, getting homing on this. Next month I'll get the cool bulletkin badge, says Pixely. I gotta update those at some point, make them even better, add more badges. Why is it, why is the broccoli curse though? You know what, good question. Grants you an aura that inflicts poison and debuffs enemies to take poison damage from you and your companions. Your critical hits gain critical hit multiplier against bleeding enemies. Oh, baby. On kill and on combat start, spawn a mana star somewhere far from you in the arena. So that's the thing that we had. I mean, we, we bleed, don't we? How do we, how do we bleed? Was it the bow that bled? Hold on. Resting damage. The ring gives us bleeding, and so this gives us even more crits against bleeding. That seems very good. Buy items or locked chest costs help to open. We don't have a lot of cash, but I don't really know if I want to be getting rid of health, but let's do it anyways. It'll be funny. Because as soon as we hit an enemy, we get 150% like crit damage bonuses on him. We're hitting for 2,000. Wrong button. Grants 10% increased ranged damage. All right, I'll take it. Milk Dick says you can blow up chests. Well, I wish I knew that previously. Let's, grant, let's get some gold. Thank you. Random potion or stay a while and listen. Let's go for the potion. Okay, witches have to go. It, so it looks like all of our ranged weapons have a little bit of homing, which is nice. Grant power potion on consumption, increases damage by 20% last 10 rooms. Sure, let's just use that. Let's go to the event. Open the coffin. Protects you once from getting cursed, but breaks in the process. Common accessory. Okay, we can uh, attune it. This is a boss fight. We can attune it later and then take it to negate, use it to negate curse. But do you have, hmm. If I, If I unequip this, will this get unattuned? Or can I attune this and then swap to it later? I don't know, but this is the boss fight, so let's not worry about it right now. <laughs> Offhand or pair of gloves? Let's get some gloves. Oh good, it's the Dark Souls 1 gargoyle, gargoyle fight. On the bright side, they die very quickly. Oh, I uh, didn't have a, I didn't have a dodge available. Why not? Hold on. That dodge cooldown is actually a lot longer than I thought it was. Let me, um, can we look at it? Dodge, dodge, dodge. Maybe misc? Maybe defense? How long does it... Is that like a, a stat we can adjust? I don't know. I don't see it. Hmm. Well, just, you know, don't get hit again. Grants 85 to 115 cold damage to melee attacks. Periodically triggers icicles to fall on the nearest enemy. Souls. Grants a sea urchin orbital that deals thrusting damage. It's offhand. I mean, I can't hold any of this, so I'm gonna take the rare. And 
and maybe we can just dump it later? Currently we have not encumbered, which is good. Okay, just don't get hit, forehead. Or, if we had a one-handed weapon, we could use this. This has been unattuned, so things do get unattuned. So we, we would have to anticipate that we would have a cursed thing showing up and then put this on our hotbar and then get the cursed equipment and then we can dump it. Understand, okay. Dude, you need more health. Two HP is not enough. Pixley says, what the hell is this OP run he's having? It's not OP, I'm just good. Grant souls or random dice. Let's go for the, it's cursed. So hold on, we can equip this. Is there any way to like, is there a gloss, glossiary? Can I look at attunement? What the hell's attunement? Let's see if, let's see if this works the way I, I expect it to work. It's just cactuses and flies, we should be okay. And scorpions, I've played atomicrops before. Can I, can I, can I see what happened there? It, it worked, I think it worked. <laughs> we, we, I, we, we didn't get cursed. Curse is one. Oh, but one curse is 10% cursed chance? What? That's absurd. Okay, so, but it does work on that room immediately. That's good to know. And we've got to reattune this, but it'll take one turn. That's not that bad. Let's go for the gold. So you can't spam dodges as much as I thought you could because it does take quite a long time for them to uh, recharge. There we go. Attuned. We need this. Is there a blank button that I have uh, neglected in this game? Could really go for a blank button. Let's go to the pawn shop. I've got a lot of garbage. Uh, please take my magic cap. So so. Six gold. Um, take my apprentice wand, Ugh. three gold. Take my winged bow, because our curve bow is way Actually, take the sword, I'm not gonna use it. Happy sword. Uh, melee gloves. I'll keep those, you never know. Uh, keep, you can take my bow. 15 gold for a so-so bow? This guy's a fool. I think we're okay. Addicted to blank, Snope got a dodge. I really want blank, I keep hitting the button for it on my mouse thinking I'm gonna, I'm gonna blank. Requires key to open, damn, we should get more keys. I have too many bombs, I don't have enough keys. I'm looking for cracks, I haven't seen any yet. Costs health to open. It's a blood mimic. But we killed it, and it did not cost health to open. Grants one mana star. Grants lucky hit chance. I'll take that one, I guess we'll take them both. So we're maxed out on charms. This one is not attuned. Mana star grants Stats to your mana draining weapons. By default, each point of mana star grants more damage. I hope that'll work in our pocket weapon. Um, let's go for the int. I love intelligence because it's uh, it's crit chance. Mana. What was that sound? I, I did you see the cursed like skull in the corner? This. I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm I'm seeing it and I'm not liking it. Maybe that means there's a, gonna be a cursed enemy possible or something, I don't know. Get out of here, thousand needles. Downgraded the room reward, interesting. Guaranteed set or cursed boots. Let's go for set. I am blessed with the power of the sun. I will use this power to stop you. Yeah, okay, soul crusher.
I've, I've played Dungeon before, you know. You truly are a burden to this world, I am done holding back. Yeah, me too. Just trying to gaslight you. <laughs> Need bombs or key? I do have 13 bombs. Magus helmet. Did I not just sell this? Bracelet. Each point of dexterity additionally grants chance to repeat attack. Okay. It does a quarter damage. Grants increased attack speed. Honestly, that seems like the best one, because we don't need the mana thing, really. Uh, and we have an accessory. Our current accessory is the best accessory. It's giving us the absurd bleed damage that gives us the absurd bonus damage thanks to our trait. So I think we'll just take the charm. You sold the helmet, that's the amulet. Oh, we did. I'm still taking this. Increased damage dealt to bosses. Three attunement, okay. So you can't just equip it for the boss fight. Lucky hit chance, increased range damage, one, damage one mana star. I'd rather have the attack speed buff because the more, faster we attack, the more we, you know, hit with the slither wand anyways, right? Look at tougher, don't you worry. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Non-cursed broccoli. Luck made it plus three instead of plus, plus one. It's no longer a veg, it's a brock. I get it and I like it. There we go. It's still only one experience, I think. Royal Armory contains epic weapons or drop loot when shattered. Let's go for the epic weapon. That is a piranha gun. We're straight in uh, Terraria now. Piano. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Piano. <laughs> it is a two-handed instrument magic weapon with mana drain that deals damage, sound damage. And while standing still, you have double attack speed. Piranha Gun is a gun-ranged weapon that deals Piranha Bites, which deals 200% infliction damage as thrusting damage two times per second for four seconds. And we make thrusting damage bleed. Boomerang triggers an explosion dealing 200 to 500 damage. Primary attack deals 400 to 900 striking damage. Or Scythe, Sickless Melee. Dude. Sickles melee, not sickless. I think we gotta try the piranha gun, because if I'm if I'm correct, first of all, it's a one-handed weapon. It's slower, but does more damage. And if the piranha bites inflict bleeding, they will inflict their own status and do way more damage. Like this seems good. It seems good. It seems good. It seems good. Let's see. Ah, it's a little slow. But it seems good. Uh, let's get some dice. They, they home excellently. They have like infinity homing. And it seems like they just crush. Because if, and they just, they just go, I guess. Hi. Resin? Like, can I, is it like pine resin? Because if the piranha's piranha biting inflicts bleeding, then every attack deals 200% of an infliction damage as thrusting damage twice per second, which also inflicts 50% of that bonus damage as damage every two times, 50% two times for four seconds. Drops a gold when bombed or pine resin. I'm gonna get the gold. I don't think that's how it works, but it is cool to think about. 
Gold or two to three random consumables? I have tons of gold. Let's go for the consumables. Consumables. Also, just like our damage output is pretty absurd right now. Cursed gold, no thank you. Broccoli, yes. Gift box. Grants. It's a, it's green blossom. <laughs> Twilight branch applies random enchantment modifier to weapon. Hopefully, it's not a cursed one. Gave me a key, a key, and then something else. Oh, another another blossom. Legendary Piara Nagan. I don't know what. Oh, it's more damage. Okay. Abe's starting to see the compound BSery of crazy builds. I mean, it's, uh, you know, any roguelite with a lot of moving parts like this. It's the uh, roguelite version of like a Dwarf Fortress or a Caves of Cud. Lots of stats that you can modify and you can have synergies with those stats that feed off of one another. Uh, Rift Wizard would be like another one that I'm kind of seeing some some uh, comparisons with, potentially. But what I'm seeing right now is that the Piranha Guns are just inflicting a stupid amount of DOT. Arcade, try your luck or loot? Arcade. Plus one key and Maybe luck caused it to drop a key. We got a blacksmith's hammer. This weapon gains more damage from weapon upgrade levels. You think we could uh, return it to the blacksmith so he can upgrade our weapons? Unfortunately, you know, if, so if this was Rift Wizard, we would see the synergy between the Piranha Gun and the Rose Ring, but I don't think the Rose Ring is actually working on the Piranha Bite inflicting thrusting damage. I don't think that's how it works. It does say your thrusting damage, but if the pir Piranhas are not mine, whose are they? I guess they're, the, they're their own Piranhas, you know. I have not enslaved the Piranhas, they were just working for me. Gift box. Dispels one stack of curse! Inventory full! Minus one curse. Two keys, two bombs. Out of the present. This is great. We should just, like, spend all of our cash here. Are you winning? I think I'm winning in the arcade, at least. Oh, we broke it. No! That's okay. Grants armor when bombed. Locked chest that contains a ranged weapon. I don't need a new ranged weapon. I will take bombing gives us armor? I mean, the first hit deals 1,300 damage, the second hit deals 2,000. It's pretty good. Armor! Ah! I was thinking armor was like an effect on our armor, but it's a, it's a, it's a free hit, and we can repair armor to get the hits back if we don't... Okay, okay, awesome. I get it, I understand. Now, we are about to fight a boss, so let us use... Hold on, I wanna... Plus one stamina and last one room. Yes. Okay. I see the waves. I rule the sea. Face my rat. Face my piranha... piranhas? <laughs> You're nothing but a small fish in a big... Yeah, but I got freaking piranhas? All right. Easy game. Boing. Epic, 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 legendary loot, loot, loot. On dash, gain combat prowess. 20% increased melee damage lasts eight seconds. Doesn't stack. Makes you encumbered. Five equip load, plus one evade. Evade prevents one hit of damage taken, refreshes after completing five combat encounters without taking damage or evading. Seems good. 20% increased attack speed and 20% increased movement speed while in mana burnout. When you drain mana below zero, below zero, you're in burnout. You can 
still attack during burnout, but if you want to continue to drain mana, in order to trigger mana draining effects such as creating mana stars, you have to wait and stop attacking until mana burnout is over. Well, I guess we pick up the boots because they're the only things that actually matter. We have shields, health, and evasion. Let's go. Now, I could be re-rolling this equipment, but sue me. Um, okay, first of all. What is this, Grant? Plus one mana attunement. We're gonna sell that, we're gonna sell the hammer at some point. The gloves are doing nothing right now. Are we, uh, are we over encumbered? No, perfect. Gold or bombs, gold. Bomb the skull. It's getting a little bullet hell, you gotta admit. But luckily these, these piranhas home. So I'm very happy about that. Dexterity intelligence or random potion? Give, let them eat cake. Plus, so this will be like 5% weapon damage, attack speed, crit chance, movement speed, very small movement speed, but. I don't know. I was waiting for, like, the room to be over. Bring, bring, bring. Crushing hit chance at close range. Guaranteed to roll top end damage. Hmm. What is close range? Current crushing hit chance, 0%. I don't know what that means. Oh, the dice, the die, or dice, depending on how you want to say it, is right here. On non-triggering lucky hit, trigger a barrage of three ice shard projectiles dealing 200 to 300 damage each quarter second cooldown. Grant two ancestral spirit companions. We can only have one, because uh, we only have one companion slot. They attack 1.5 times per second dealing melee damage. On the tally of five attacks with magic weapon, repeat the attack. No. So I think we want crushing damage up close, do maximum. I just don't know what what range that is. We could also re-roll. Pixely says you actually get two. Well, maybe. For some reason, it goes over the companion limit. It, I guess it probably counts as one, but you get two. I'm gonna re-roll though. On picking up a mana star, when you only, when, while you have only dealt one elemental damage type in the past four seconds, you gain 100% increased effect of elemental ailments, fire, cold, lightning, poison, on lucky hit, gain cheap shot, increasing secondary attack damage, attacks that are explicitly stated to be a secondary attack on the weapon. Primary attack deals damage and inflicts piranha bites. Um... Grant two spinning blade orbitals that deal damage and inflict bleed. That seems to be the one that we want. Um, it's not amazing. What is cheap shot? Double secondary attack damage on lucky hit, but we don't have secondary attacks. We might get one is the thing. We might get one. But give me the... And when, wouldn't you want to... Wouldn't you want to try to get those like super synergies going? You know, like e even if we can't do this now, maybe we can do it later. The spinning blades aren't going to help us that much because we do we do so much damage. We do thousands of damage per second. Is six hundred damage in bleeding good? Also, how frequently do the blades do damage? Once per frame? Once per second? If they hit an enemy, you don't know. Let's go for cheap shot. Again, not good now, but maybe good later. We're gonna go for a health flask charge, I think, because grant a resin. Look, my inventory's full, okay? That is a cockatrice. These are cursed bullets. Bullets. 
There we go. Lollipop requires a key. Cursed golden chest. No, thank you. We'll take the lollipop. I don't know why we're scaling. It seems like we shouldn't be scaling on intelligence. We're scaling crit chance, but if we're scaling other things too for some reason. I don't know why. Dragon Slayer chest. Locked chest that contains a weapon or a shop. I wonder if there's a dragon at the end of this biome and if you get the chet the Dragon Slayer sword, you can kill him in one hit or something. But we have 96 gold. Don't we want to buy an item? Screw it. I'm going here. Infinity keys. Nope, it's just a garbage sword. All right, well, lesson learned. Gold or blacksmith? Blacksmith. Why, why is it stars? Armor repaired. Ah, I still have the armor, gotcha. Need anything forged? Need anything forged? If you're in a pity, you can use a blacksmith's whetstone to upgrade your weapon. Grants 5% for 20 gold? Sure. Ho, ho, ho. Maybe you can only do it three times. I mean, I, I don't think we should upgrade the weapon. 5% damage is not that much, but, you know, I'll upgrade it once. There you go. Have fun. Chess could have anything, even a shop. <laughs> so this is evil. What are you? Do you want to buy this storm in a bottle? Grant summon storm. Status effect that periodically triggers a lightning strike that deals 15 to 1500 damage. Last 10 seconds. It adds chaoticness. No. It just doesn't even seem good. Hello? The young people today just can't hold their drinks like we back in our day. You are you are a young dude. You're a young, tiny man. We're no longer tipsy, by the way. Booze buff that grants 5% increased attack speed and adds plus one tipsiness. You have one tipsiness per booze effect on you, up to two, defined by your hearts. Every 10 rooms, you lose a booze effect. So it's just a temporary buff. What does tipsiness do? I guess it doesn't do any, it's just a temp, these are just temporary buffs. I mean, plus DOT seems kind of okay. Why don't we just buy some wine? You know? We have five. Yeah, I guess. And then... I don't think I can help you. I was kind of hoping we could get max HP, but we can't. Reroll Tavern. Yeah. Hope you have a nice day. We're saving the world, but, you know, we can take a second and have a nap. Hey, Maman, welcome. It's Santa. Ho, ho, ho. I am the real Santa. Can you believe it? Hey, kid. Mind helping Santa out? I'll sell you a gift box for 25. It's expensive, and it usually just gives you keys and bombs. Shh, don't tell other kobolds. I like to come here to drink. Yes, yes. Makes feel fuzzy. Tavern keep a very nice man. A real warrior always brings repair paddle. Repair powder in a battle. I have repair powder. I'm going to enchant your weapon. Yeah! I can only guard the arcane mist through time and space. It's now a happy piranha gun, but it was legendary pir piranha gun. Is it still legendary? Or is it just happy now? Because it, it had plus 25% damage. And now it's 10% lucky hit. So it, 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 I feel like I just degraded my gun by buffing it. So not a very positive outcome, I think. Let's get some candy. Whoa, what the heck? It's a huge AOE explosion. Guaranteed offhand, cursed, guaranteed body armor, 
We're gonna do, uh, uh, we don't need to use stamina. It's the Phoenix. The mountain's rage is my rage. There's no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. What about piranhas? Can you forgive piranhas? Annoying little brat, everything will burn. Yeah, and you're gonna get eaten by piranhas. You're gonna bleed. Uh, evade, the fight was over. <laughs> what? That counted as a hit even though the fight was over? Come on. Also, that does not startle me. I've, you know how often, you know how many times I fought a uh, vet in BPM, AKA Vanaheim one third floor boss? and his damn white circle attack. Periodically fears all enemies in the room. Two set, trick or treat, fearing an enemy inflicts instability. They take 30% more top end damage, but 30% less low end damage. Weird. Oh, that's the trick and treat. Lucky hits with poison also inflict toxic. Hmm. On dash, your next primary attack deals a guaranteed crushing hit. On dash, your primary... I mean, we can't take the accessory. Even though it is a shark ring. Because <laughs> our crushing hit chance is 0%. Um, but we have a two-handed weapon. No, we, ha we don't have a two-handed weapon. We currently have a revive. Okay, hold up, hold up, let me think. Also, 10% lucky hit chance is actually pretty good. Current lucky hit chance is, it's more than 25%. It's like 35% on that weapon right now, right? Where, where's the offense? Miss? Oh no, it is 15%. Okay, well, fair. Um, so we can get a new offhand weapon, attacks with poison will toxic, but we don't need that. The accessory we can't take because our current ring is better. So do we want to have fearing enemies or more damage, depending on how good we are? I mean, I'd rather just have the more damage, I think, and just do damage. So I'm just going to pick uh, whatever's rare. Pick that. We need to sell stuff. Lucky hit chance roll scales better than 25% damage. I mean, I just, I wouldn't have paid for it. That's the thing. I don't think it was worth 30 bucks for possibly better scaling when we could have just had more damage to begin with. Because eventually, theoretically, we'll get a new Piranha gun, right? The Halls of Agony. Ranged weapon, melee weapon. Well... I can't believe you lived that long. Poison throwing knives. Primary attack deals 300 to 400 poison damage. There was poison inflicts toxic back there, but you know, that's not what we want. Candy. We could try to go for a different, um, a different magical weapon, but I don't, I don't really care. It seems a weird item is placed between the pages and used as a sort of bookmark. Take it? Sure. You feel watched. Inventory full. Legendary charm. Def you feel watched. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Defy death. Allows you to take an additional hit of damage before death refreshes each floor. It's a legendary charm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Dump the mana charm. Pick this up. Take it over the 5% attack speed. So we have more hits we can take. Pawn shop. We need to go to the pawn shop. We have to dump this, 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 this. Keep that. Dun, 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 dun. Dear Nunu, welcome. Hello, and Harrison. Hello as well. How are you doing today? Are you saving the world? Sounds like you're just drinking booze and looking for fights, says the Nor. I'm not looking for fights. They're coming to me. Actually, I'm going to them. Let's go to the 
pawn shop and get some gold. 15. Blacksmith hammer, that's pretty nice. How about 11? That's pretty nice. I'm gonna keep the repair powder, because if we take a hit, I wanna be able to get it back. Don't hurt him. Whoa! Get him, piranhas. Thank you. Thank you for the beef. Trait tomes. What the hell is a trait tome? I gotta, I gotta find out. Oh, I didn't have a dodge active. My bad. Set item stash or tavern. Let's start by getting our armor back. Replaces a trait with during combat, periodically gain a stack of precision that grants 10% critical hit two times per second. You lose all stacks one second after you've dealt a critical hit. I mean, we crit all the damn time. We don't need this, so. We'll, we'll pick it up and then just not use it, I think. Put it there. I'm used to uh, dashes being faster, so I, I'm trying to get used to that. Assassin hood. Helmet grants 10% crit chance. Ailments inflicted by crits have double effects on set. This is interesting. Um, but I, I kind of like the 20% crit chance from the hat. It's more than a 10% crit chance on this, right? Current crit chance is... Forty-one percent. That's real good. <laughs> Pair or blood chest. Give me the stats. This is also a level up. Mario. As the crow runs coming along. We're not a crow anymore. We're a hero. When you inflict bleed, you also inflict a stack of poison based on the same infliction damage. Um, yes? <laughs> Stacks up to 10 times. Yeah? It's, it's actually, it's less damage, but it stacks. Oh, you know what? I don't think bleed stacks, poison stacks though. Uh, on a non-triggered lucky hit, trigger a barrage of ice. Each point of intelligence additionally grants effect of buffs and aura radius. 90% total currently. What is a buff or aura? Gain increased stats from intelligence, but none from strength or dexterity. No. We're going to take blood infection, because now we have poison. Accessory or gloves. We need new gloves. Current gloves don't do anything. I have your scent, run. Yeah, right. so tiny and quick. I haven't dodged yet. Should not have used both dashes, but that's okay. Those big brain plays. Dernuna says, Abe, I watched the VOD of Nuclear Throne. I noticed that you didn't seem to know that the throne portal after death sucks up the weapons on the floor, regardless of if you run away from the portal long enough. I don't care about the weapon drops, but... Um, in Nuclear Throne, when you defeat the throne, it doesn't open up the ammo chest, which is usually what I want to go back for. But also, if I walk backwards on the carpet and it summons more dudes from the pillars, it's worth more rads, so sometimes I just do it for that. <laughs> a buff is an effect, timed or permanent, which boosts your abilities, says the Nor. Oh, thank you. On the tally of 10 primary attacks, shoot seeking missiles, 
that do a ton of damage. And it's gloves. Vest just gives you more health, which I think is great. Legendary accessory, cold damage inflicts burn, and burn damage is based on cold infliction. Uh, we don't do either, so we're going to take the gloves. And... Grant melee attacks bonus. No. When we attack, now we have missiles. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, like literal missiles. Rocket gauntlets. Okay, I'll take it. So here's my thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Doesn't work, okay. You know, hilariously, it's not that much damage, but it's better than nothing, because we didn't have anything previously. Because it wasn't like we were getting any value out of the melee gloves. Epic weapons. Oh, right. Ding, ding, ding. Happy compound bow. So happy, so legendary, happy, those are just enhancements. 100% chance for attacks to repeat. So it will always repeat, but it does substantially less damage, but it attacks faster. I kind of like the piranha gun. It's one-handed, which means I can also get value out of the revive in case we, you know, get into a bad position. We could take a better book, I guess? You know, because we're currently using Slither Wand. This thing does way more damage. And has more range. So, like, we could grab that. Maybe trying to cheat his rockets. Well, yeah! <laughs> That's a Frostbite Sword. Happy Compound Bow, two-handed. 100% chance for attacks to repeat. The problem is repeat attacks only do 25% damage, right? No, they do 25% less damage. Hmm. But here's the thing. Even if this does... It's actually quite a lot of damage now that I'm looking at it, but the piranhas do deal infliction. So like we're getting more damage out of them just by them hitting. Yeah, like this is interesting, but I, I like the auto aiming from the piranhas. I like the fact that we have lots of different uh, status effects on enemies. We got poison and bleeding and piranhas. So we have three different DOTs. I uh, I think we'll just grab the magical book and then we'll just make that the new thing that we cast. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, why not? One mana when bombed or one dexterity. We'll go for the dexterity. Yeah, that seems okay. I should check my stats in a second. Also, those missiles did not home. Somehow this game reminds me of the tiny spaceship game, says Dernunu. Uh, Monolith, aka Star of Providence. Pixel, aesthetic, a little narrow, because Monolith was also, like, portrait mode, which was very weird. Um, but also, uh, like pixel graphics, you know? Grant resin or upgrade weapons and repair. Let's upgrade and repair. Armor repaired. Need anything forged? Grant booze or go to the shop? I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade and then go to the shop. Ah, yeah, let's upgrade and then go to the shop. I reinforce the weapon, it shall do you well. I have a billion bombs. I don't use them for combat. Pineapple Cannon, two-handed ranged weapon. 
primary attack does explosion damage and inflicts armor break. Makes armor take more damage. Enemies do have, like bosses tend to have like an armor bar, and I'm not entirely certain how that interacts with weapons, but that's not what we're looking for. We need thrusting damage weapon types to get the bleed combo going. So blowgun, it's a magic weapon that bleeds, whatever. On kill trigger your on combat start effects. It gives you armor. We currently do more damage with our robe. Acoustic guitar, instrument, magic. Primary attack deals damage. Okay, I don't think we want any of these, so we're not gonna buy any of these. Jojo404, welcome. Merry Christmas, Jojo. Did Abe just say DOTs instead of saying dots? I, I say them both ways. I can't tell you... <laughs> Plus two soul hearts when bombed. I can't tell you when I would say it one way versus the other. Sometimes I just say it either way. Need some equipment. Let's go for the soul hearts, because we don't need resins, I don't think. What do resins do? They just make you better. Who needs that? Whoa! Evasion! Thank you! Oh, that's a lot of HP. Guaranteed set, guaranteed helmet. My helmet is fantastic. 20% crit chance. Our current stats are, let's see if we can find it. Why do we have damage modifier bonuses? Weapon base damage, 130 to 275 thrusting. Weapon total damage, this. Um, not encumbered. Plus one morality. 21 dexterity, 39 intelligence. We have two second stamina recovery time. I was looking for that. But what's the difference between recovery and regeneration? Uh, recovery is when it starts, regeneration is between charges. So in 2.5 seconds, you get them both back. Um, 40% crit chance and 15% lucky lucky hit chance, which means it rolls twice. Get one more intelligence, you unlock a character. Well, we got another floor, so we'll get there. Um, because there's only two bosses left by the looks of it, let's use a green blossom and get a set item. It is Santa Cthulhu. We've already broken his arm. His armor does not last that long. I, I don't even know what he's doing. Surrender, I've read your mind! He's got like cool effects and like different stats that he's doing, but you know. I see his whole deal, which is that you don't know where he is. Yo, come here. Thank you. But we got him. I didn't even dodge once. All right, what do we got? Two set items. Thunder grip gauntlets. Melee gloves. Thunder cap. Triggering a mark maximizes all of your active tally counters. No freaking idea. Raincoat grants drizzle whenever you make it rain. Drizzle is a buff that grants increased stamina recovery speed. And if you have two set items, you get an angry cloud companion. Continuously triggers your make it rain effects. How do you make it rain? <laughs> I've got no idea. Give me the, uh, give me the raincoat, I guess. Your Nunu says, it's funny how in-game's characters gain intelligence by equipping armor and accessories. I mean, you just assume it's magic, you know? You hand wave it away, it's all magic. Plus one dexterity, minus one strength or a key. We don't have any keys, I will take a key. 
I'm also noticing I still have the extra stamina. We just lost it. This level's music is a boo, says Pixely. No, wait, they meant bop. <laughs> Grant, 5 to 35% increased attack speed depending on the scaling of the weapon. So it's a 25% attack speed buff. Wow. Or buff an aura radius buff. Or on lucky hit, increment all of your active tally counters. I don't know what a tally counter is. So we're going to take alacrity, which is attack speed buff. Thank you. We're going to get some die. Yes. I, um... Oh, we evaded! No, I hit the dodge button. No, my evade recharge! My evasion was because I hit the space bar. Warrior stash or candy. Also, we picked up... Oh, we picked up the, the die, that's right. We can re-roll upcoming rewards for the next rooms. I forgot about that. I've never been doing that. It's a it's definitely a Hades thing, isn't it? Rerolls offered items from shops, armories, and bosses. We should do that. Exchange traits. Our traits are fine, honestly. Even the one that was poison, I think we enabled that, right? Based off of something? Maybe not. Um, hold on. No, FC. Experience maximum. When you inflict bleed, you also inflict poison. Oh, this is the one that we haven't done anything with. Unlucky hit cheap shot. You know what? Let's freaking reroll it, dude. We don't have a secondary attack damage. Goodbye cheap shot, welcome dominance. Each point of intelligence gives you the buffs and debuffs thing. Well, we don't have buffs and debuffs. Let's do it again. I know it's a hundred percent buff, but... Transcendence. Infusion buff effects are permanent. Fire, cold... What? Infusion buff. Elemental dam. I don't know what this means. Infusion buff effects are permanent. Fire, cold, lightning, and poison damage are considered elemental. Yeah, so what? What does this mean? Oh, Milk Jug says resin. Okay, so we should get some resin at some point. That sounds great. I didn't know the name of it. Now that I know the name of it, I want it. Grants a random potion. I mean, we could we could have done the thing that doubled the buff effects. Locked chest that contains equipment. You know what? I will take the plus three dexterity. That seems great. I gotta stop moving counterclockwise. Or clockwise. We gotta start moving counterclockwise. Set item stash. You know what? Resin. Let's do it. Let's get our first red. I'm doing it again. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, dude. Came out of freaking nowhere. All right. A cold infusion buff that grants 15 to 35 cold damage and lasts 10 rooms. Lasts a long time. But we'll. Hold on. Infusion buff? Crap. Hold on. No, no. F, G, C. Infusion buffs are permanent. There we go. What's our uh, intelligence? 40. New character unlocked. Can't help but notice that a lot of these rooms are basically the same. Got hit on that one, but that's okay. Melee weapons. Nope. Nope. Yeah, why not? Can we can we stack them? Five to fifty lightning damage. I mean, let's let's see. 
Yes, we can. Okay, that seems great, actually. One final rest. Yeah, I mean, it's gold pine resin from Dark Souls. It's exactly what it is. That being permanent is actually really nice. You can stockpile it. You can try to get those rewards and then uh, just keep them forever. Tune equipped items. Ah. Uh, what do we like? I think we like what we have. Extra revive. We have like five HP. What gave us the dodge? Elusive boots. Okay. So I don't think it would give us the evade back. Um, I think. I think we. I think we're set. Offhand and charm. I didn't realize we were still going. I love my equipment. The only thing I would like to maybe get rid of is the cape for something better. But let's just. Let's just go for a better charm, I guess. And I'm thinking this is not the last boss. We're not going to use the the gold, uh, the stamina. In the end, all mortals bow to death. You are no exception. You have come very far. Consider me impressed. But nonetheless, your time has come. You need to die. You need to get eaten by piranhas. Enough! Darkness incarnate! I see. You're uh, you're the rat fight, basically. <laughs> Grant plus five to resell value of all items. Rare accessory. Each point of intelligence hit... Additionally grants one crit hit multiplier. Hold on. The damage from critical hits is multiplied with your critical hit multiplier. You currently have 48% critical hit chance and 200% critical hit multiplier. So it's, it's, sep it's the same color and the same phrasing except chance and multiplier, but we don't, I don't think we care too much about that. Damaging hits that deal cold damage grant swiftness. Buff that grants movement speed and lasts for a second. I don't want variable movement speed, so I'm just going to take basically nothing. I'll take this if we can sell it. Sure. Each point of intelligence grants... It doesn't matter. We're not using it. Are you just a god gamer at twin stick shooters, or is this game super easy so far? This game is pretty easy so far, <laughs> but I have to admit that we have a build, and I could see this being a, a lot more difficult if you didn't have a build. But our build is our weapon homes in on enemies, does good damage, does damage over time, inflicts bleeding, which is another damage over time, which inflicts a third damage over time. So we, we just have like, and we get crits off of those damage over time, so we have like, a build that we've built into but um even beyond that like the enemy dodging it's all pretty standard like it's very simple on higher difficulties if everything gets faster or more numerous like more lasers and more enemies it's going to get harder but right now individually every obstacle is just oh i've seen this before oh i've seen this before i know what this is like i just said it in the i think this boss fight even it's like oh you're the rat fight i, I gotta stand between the lasers i understand what everything is and what i need to do to dodge it I, it's just my first time seeing it you feel exhausted eat some stamina cold winds try to get hold of you let them take you no your flesh is still bound to this world you can keep trying but i tell you you have no choice Death claims another! So we've gotta find, we gotta like, get to new game plus 10 to get to the, the, uh, YOLO Ox Leo so that we can actually survive there. Or rather get to world tier 10, probably. Objective completed, brave the unknown, your world tier is now two. Achieving this world objective enables a new set of enemies to appear in each floor. So new enemies, everything's gonna get harder. Pixley says new game five. <laughs> okay, there you go. 
a new dawn. Death seems inevitable for now. So we have three of 30 mastery points, which means we can get three of the 30 uh, perks. And we can see what they are now. Revived once per run. Healing rewards are 50% more common while at the brink of death. So I, I can get up to three away. Oh, although some of these have multiples, I guess we can only take one or the other. Um, very interesting. We're, we're gonna take a look at this upgrade system. Plus one luck on floor one and two. So better loot. No way there's only 30 points. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hmm. Good point. I guess you have to pick and choose. Or some of these are locked. Maybe they're not implemented in the game. Let's count the ones that are not locked. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you get more upgrade tokens from other things. Plus one luck. Curse has 25% less chance of downgrading rewards. Locked cellars never contained locked things. Hmm. So you spend a key to get into a room just to have a locked chest. Secret rooms are highlighted. I, don't, I didn't even know that there were secret rooms, so this could be kind of cool. Gain suppression against the floor one, two, and three boss. It's like a heart, but only for boss fights. So free HP. One, two, three. Grant suppression against the floor 10 boss. Defeating a boss without getting hit makes them drop one to five additional souls. I don't even know what souls do. Easy mode. Enemies on floor one, two, and three are weaker. One, two, three. Your choice of rewards for the first boss always give you an option of a companion, a charm, or a weapon. You encounter 50% more packs of enchanted enemies, but they have less health. Or you have less enemies, but they have more health. I, I like the pick and choose mechanics. Let's go up. You start with more health, flasks, or double health speed. You start with a soul heart. Bombing treasure chests, shrines, and the arcade drops twice stuff. You start with five experience, but every level takes one. More to achieve, gotcha. Or you just start with one. Shop prices and shops are reduced. Shops have a chance to offer more items. Gold prices increase, but soul prices decrease. I again, never found any soul shops. So you can do it one or one or one way or the other. Floor one always contains a shop. Healing rewards are more common on the brink of death. Revive once. Gain chance on each room reward room reward roll to roll maximum amount of rewards. <laughs> if the rolled amount of room rewards is below average, the amount is rolled again, taking the higher. Once per run, when you enter a floor without a key, gain a key, gain gold, gain bombs. Dice rewards always grant three additional red dice, a ther one ethereal dice, one golden dice. I would like to point out this game is calling one singular d6 a dice. Event rooms with mini games in them are twice as common. Mini games are easier. Weapons gain 25% chance to spawn pre-enchanted or 25% chance to spawn with a plus one upgrade level. It's very small and it might not trigger on a, on a run, right? Floor three always contains an additional armory that offers two weapons. Floor three. Hmm. Pawn shops are now guaranteed on three, six, and nine. Tavern, blacksmith. The tavern gains 15% chance to have an entrance to the black market. Base chance is 15%.
booze prices are reduced. Healing from the nurse costs five instead of 10. Staying overnight is five instead of 10. Tax collector is a permanent resident replacing the nurse. Cleric replaces the nurse. Santa replaces the nurse. I guess she's a guaranteed spawn. Now there's gonna be a different guaranteed spawn. Weapons are never enchanted with a negative. Weapons come with a positive and a negative. And then this one is 10% chance per run to encounter a royal armory, so epic equipment. I've gotta be honest, kinda like the idea of highlighting dem secret rooms, cause I don't know what they look like. And you know, we should try to identify what they are so on future runs we can figure it out. Reset all, hold Q. Yep, as easy as that. The hero! There's also the wanderer. You will you will an encounter an event room on every floor. Is is luck depending on your good alignment, which is uh, also the crit lucky chance shot thing. Warrior, 10% more base attack speed per upgrade. Plus one mana star at level two, four, and six. Revived once per floor, the cleric. The knight. Your points of block are refreshed before entering a boss fight. So you have a shield, a helmet, and a sword. You gain double the stats from charm and weapon enchantments, the mystic. The pyromancer, each point of mana additionally grants 10 to 20 fire damage. The ranger, you inherently have one evasion. Recharges every five rooms. And the sorcerer start with a soul heart upon entering a floor, or rather gain one per floor. So I think you would gain 10 over the course of a run. Very interesting. Start with some equipment. Cool, well, there you go. You can also random. I love that it's got a, a wheel effect on it. What is this? So th this was possibly just the tutorial. This was the first level or the first run, which let us defeat death. And now we've unlocked Beyond Tomorrow. The bonfire has sent something beyond death and implores you to persevere. Defeat death with five different classes. We'll unlock the next world tier. And then when you get to world, I guess like, I don't know, five, you can uh, maybe survive the end there. Oh, and then this is your starting gift, of course. Cool, fun game. What is this called? Tiny Rogues. Tiny, roguelite, dungeon crawler, adventure game, early access. It was a bit of a long run, but it was my first run, and uh, I can see why people are enjoying this game. It's a, a bullet hell twin stick shooter, but you are crawling through a dungeon, collecting loot, fighting bosses. A good time. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next Let's Look At or Run of Tiny Rogues.